Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss Taylor series and examples on it. In particularly, we will see how to expand function of x as a series about particular point. Let us first see the prerequisite to learn Taylor series. To understand Taylor series, one has to know what is sequence, series and in particularly power series. So let us recall what is sequence. A sequence is defined as an arrangement of numbers in a particular order. For example, consider this sequence a n given by 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. This is a sequence of odd numbers from 1 to 11. Since it consists of finite numbers, this is a finite sequence. Similarly, one can have infinite sequence with infinite numbers. You can have an example of even integers. Now we will talk about series. Series is defined as the sum of elements in a sequence. So in this case, series a n is given by 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. So this sum is nothing but series a n. On the similar lines, you can have infinite series which consists of sum of infinite numbers in a sequence. Now let us proceed to power series. It is a series of the form summation cn x raised to n where n runs from 0 to infinity. If you substitute values of n one by one, you will see power series is given by c0 plus c1 x raised to 1 plus c2 x square and so on. Since this is infinite series, I will just write plus dot dot dot. Here x is the variable and ci's are the coefficients. This above power series is also known as power series about x is equal to 0 point. Then power series about point x is equal to a is given by summation cn into x minus a raised to n where n runs from 0 to infinity. When you expand this you will see this infinite series is c0 plus c1 into x minus a raised to 1 plus c2 into x minus a whole square and so on. Once again, I say this is a power series about point x is equal to a. Since this is about point x is equal to a, this power series will have terms of the type x minus a whole raised to n. Now let us proceed to understand what is Taylor series. Taylor series is defined as follows. If f of x is a function of x such that its derivatives of all orders exist on a given interval, then the Taylor series generated by f of x about point x is equal to a is given by summation x minus a raised to n upon n factorial into nth derivative of f at point a, where n varies from 0 to infinity. If you expand this summation by substituting values of n, you will see Taylor series of f of x is given by f of a, a plus x minus a into f dash of a plus x minus a whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of a and so on. So this is Taylor series of f of x about point x is equal to a. We have alternate form of Taylor series. It is given as follows. To find this alternate form, you have to substitute x minus a is equal to h in this first form of the Taylor series. So when you substitute x minus a is equal to h, x becomes a plus h. So on the left hand side, we will have f of a plus h and on the other side, we will have f of a plus h into f dash of a plus h square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of a and so on. Let us look at it. This is alternate form of the Taylor series obtained using this substitution. So this left hand side I have already told you we will become f of a plus h. Right side will become f of a plus h into f dash of a plus h square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of a and so on. I hope you understood both the forms of the Taylor series. Now we will see some real examples using Taylor series. In this first example, we are asked to use Taylor series 
and represent f of x is equal to 2x cube plus 3x square minus 8x plus 7 in ascending powers of x minus 8. So let us proceed for the solution. Let me recall Taylor series expansion of f of x about a particular point x is equal to a is given as follows. So this is the first form of Taylor series that we have seen. Now here in this example, since we have to expand this f of x in ascending powers of x minus 2, our a is 2 here. So here a is 2. So if you substitute a is equal to 2 in this expansion, you will see you require expansion of f of x as f of 2 plus f dash of 2 into x minus 2 plus x minus 2 square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 2 and so on. Now what we will do, we will label this expansion as number 1 and now we will find out values of unknowns on the RHS. Those unknowns are f of 2, f dash of 2, f double dash of 2 and so on. So let us find out these unknowns and we will resubstitute values of those unknowns over here in equation number 1. So given f of x is 2x cube plus 3x square minus 8x plus 7. We will first find out what is f of 2 by substituting x is equal to 2 into this expression. So if f of x is this, f of 2 will be 2 into 2 cube plus 3 into 2 square minus 8 into 2 plus 7. You can use calculator to find out this. So I see value of f of 2 is 19. Now we will find out what is f dash of x. f dash of x is first derivative of f of x which will be 2 into derivative of x cube is 3x square plus 3 into derivative of x square is 2x minus 8 into derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 7 is 0. So f dash of x becomes 6x square plus 6x minus 8. Now we will find out f dash of 2. For that we will substitute x is equal to 2 into this expression. So we will have f dash of 2 equal to 6 into 2 square plus 6 into 2 minus 8. So after using calculator we found f dash of 2 is equal to 28. Now we go for f double dash of x. f double dash of x is second derivative of f of x. So we differentiate f dash of x to find out f double dash of x. We find it is 12x plus 6. After this we will find out f double dash of 2. We substitute 2 here in this expression for x. So f double dash of 2 becomes 30. Next we find out f triple dash of x. f triple dash of x is 12. Since this is constant function, after substituting x is equal to 2 into this, it will remain same. So f triple dash of 2 will be 12. Next derivative of f will be 0. So next all the derivatives of f of x are 0. So we neglect writing them over here. And now we substitute these values of f of 2, f dash of 2, f double dash of 2 and f triple dash of 2 into series in equation number 1 which is this. Our LHS f of x is this expression. On RHS we get f of 2 as 19 plus f dash of 2 is 28 into x minus 2 plus x minus 2 whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 2 is 30 plus next term will be x minus 2 whole cube upon 3 factorial into f triple dash of 2 which is 12. Next terms are 0 because further derivatives of f are 0. So this is Taylor series of f of x about point x is equal to 2. Or you can say that this is Taylor series representation of f of x in ascending powers of x minus 2. You can see that powers of x minus 2 are in ascending order. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let me proceed for second example of the similar type. Here we are asked to use Taylor series to represent f of x is equal to 1 by x in powers of x minus 1. Now let us proceed for solution. You must have guessed what is a here. Okay. So let me first recall the Taylor series representation for f of x about point x is equal to a. 
it is given by this series here in this example a is 1 so this taylor series of f of x about point x is equal to 1 is given by this series f of 1 plus f dash of 1 into x minus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 1 and so on now let us find out these unknown values on the rhs and then we will substitute them back in this series number 1 here f of x is 1 by x so let us first find out what is f of 1 then we'll find out f dash of 1 and so on since f of x is 1 by x f of 1 will be 1 by 1 which is 1 f dash of x will be minus 1 by x square so f dash of 1 will be minus 1 upon 1 square that is minus 1 next we will find out f double dash of x that is second derivative of f of x from this first derivative so f double dash of x we will find as 2 into 1 upon x cube so f double dash of 1 will be 2 into 1 upon 1 cube that is just 2 next we find out f triple dash of x so f triple dash of x is minus 3 into 2 into 1 upon x raised to 4 you can pause the video and check this calculation next we find f triple dash of 1 which is equal to minus 6 now since these derivatives of f of x are never ending we neglect writing all of them and now we will substitute the values that we have found in series 1 this was our series 1 f of x is 1 by x so we write f of x on lhs and on rhs f of 1 is 1 so we write 1 here x minus 1 as it is f dash of 1 is minus 1 plus x minus 1 whole square upon 2 factorial will remain as it is f double dash of 1 is 2 next term will be x minus 1 whole cube upon 3 factorial f triple dash of 1 is minus 6 so we write it minus 6 here and so on since further calculations we haven't found so we simply write plus dot 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 so this is taylor series representation of function f of x is equal to 1 by x about point x is equal to 1 or in powers of x minus 1 i hope guys you understood this part now let us go for example number 3 here we are asked to use taylor series to find root of 16.16 .16. Let us proceed for solution. Here let me recall the alternate form of the Taylor series which says f of a plus h can be expanded as f of a plus h into f dash of a plus h square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of a and so on. So let us first define f of x as root of x. Here we let x is equal to a plus h where a is 16 and h is 0.16. So a plus h that is x will become 16.16 .16, which is the required value. Therefore f of x now becomes root of 16.16. .16. According to Taylor series this we get f of x as f of 16 plus 0 0.16 taking a as 16 and h as 0 0.16. We get f of a that is f of 16 plus h that is 0.16 into f dash of a that is f dash of 16 plus 0 0.16 whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 16 and so on now all we have to do is we have to find out these values of unknowns f of 16 f dash of 16 f double dash of 16 and so on to find out value of f of x that is root of 16.16 .16. so let us first label this series as 1 then we find the values of unknowns on RHS and then we resubstitute them in 1. So we begin with f of x which is defined as root x. Then f dash of x will be 1 upon 2 root x. f double dash of x will be minus 1 by 4 into x raised to minus 3 by 2. You can pause the video and check this calculation. Further derivatives of f of x are non-ending so we stop finding all of them. Now we will find out values of this f of x and its derivatives at point 16. So f of 16 will be root of 16 that is 4. 
f dash of 16 will be 1 upon 2 root of 16 that is 1 by 8 then f double dash of x you can find it is equal to minus 1 by 256 now we substitute these values in rhs of 1 let me carry forward those values as well as rhs so when we substitute these values on rhs we get f of x is equal to 4 plus 0.16 into 1 by 8 plus 0.16 square upon 2 factorial into minus 1 by 256 plus dot dot dot. Now use your calculator and find the sum of these three terms. So we find that f of 16.16 that is root of 16.16 is approximately equal to 4.01995. This is the approximate value. Why? Because we haven't calculated sum of all the infinite values. We have calculated sum of only first three terms. So this is approximate value of f of 16.16 that is root of 16.16. So this is how one can find out values of functions using Taylor series. Now let us proceed for example number 4. Here we are asked to use Taylor series to find out tan of 43 degree. Let us proceed for a solution. Let me recall alternate form of Taylor series that is f of a plus h series given by f of a plus h into f dash of a plus h square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of a and so on. First of all, we define here f of x as tan of x degree. Then we let x is equal to a plus h where a is 45 degree and h is minus 2 degree. So if we add a and h, we will find x is equal to 43 degree. So f of x will be tan of 43 degree, which can be expanded using Taylor series as f of 45 degree minus 2 degree is equal to f of 45 degree plus 2 degree into f dash of 45 degree plus 2 degree whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 45 degree and so on. Now to get rid of this degree, we will convert these values into radians. So we get h which is minus 2 degree is equal to minus 2 into pi by 180 which is equal to minus of 0 0.034. 45 degree can be written as pi by 4. Now f of x can be given by f of pi by 4 plus minus 0 0.034 is equal to f of pi by 4 plus minus 0 0.034 into f dash of pi by 4 plus minus 0 0.034 whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of pi by 4 and so on. Now let us find out values of these unknowns f of pi by 4, f dash of pi by 4, f double dash of pi by 4 and then we will resubstitute into this series. Let us first label this series as let me carry forward that series. Now we will find out values of those unknowns. f of x is tan x. Therefore, f dash of x is sec square x and f double dash of x is 2 sec square x into tan x. Since further derivatives are non-ending, we will not find all of them. Now we will find out what is f of pi by 4. When we put x is equal to pi by 4 here, we will have f of pi by 4 as tan pi by 4 which is 1. Similarly, f dash of pi by 4 will be sec square pi by 4 which is 2. Then f double dash of pi by 4 will be equal to 2 sec square pi by 4 into tan pi by 4 which is equal to 4. Now we substitute values of these unknowns into RHS of this series. So we get f of 43 degree will be equal to f of pi by 4 that is 1 plus minus 0 0.034 into f dash of pi by 4 is 2 plus minus 0 0.034 whole square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of pi by 4 which is 4 plus dot dot dot. Using calculator you can find the sum of these three terms which we found equal to 0 0.9343. So approximate value of f of 43 degree that is tan of 43 degree is 0 0.9343. Once again, let me tell you this is an approximate value of tan of 43 degree because we haven't calculated some of all the terms in this series. 
So this is how one can find out values of such functions using Taylor series. I hope guys you understood what is Taylor series and the examples that I taught you today. Next I have some practice examples for you. Their final solutions are also given here. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. In my next video, I'll be discussing Maclaurin series and examples on it. Till then, keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.